The Indy 500 and Brickyard 400 came and went this summer with no fans inside the Speedway to watch. But this past weekend, some people got to get inside to see some racing action. So how did it all go and what about future plans? Brad Brown has a closer look. Like welcoming guests to a housewarming party, Roger Penske and Doug Bowles were at the front gate to greet the first fans to enter IMS for a racing event this year. For us, I think we maybe were more, more excited than the fans were, but just to see happy faces of people that haven't been in here at all this year, get an opportunity to come in, see the NTT IndyCar Series, just see the things that Rogers allowed us to do. The IndyCar Harvest GP weekend started on Thursday, a smattering of fans spread out in the Oval's Turn 1 grandstands. By Friday and Saturday, that crowd had grown to several thousand, also occupying a large portion of the J stand in the northwest corner. Just to get everybody back together, and really I was impressed with the compliance and the masks and just the way that everybody understands we're in a different world. And in order to do this, at least right now, we got to do some things that we wouldn't normally do here when you're at the Speedway. New video boards, refreshed restrooms, wider public spaces all on display, temperature checks, masks and reminders to socially distance, all part of the new way of doing things for now. What we've learned the most is flexibility. We've gone through so many different variations of what a race at the Speedway look, what might look like from the Brickyard to the Indy 500 now ultimately to this. Just the flexibility to be prepared to make sure we're doing it in a safe manner and also doing it in a way that we could get some approval so we could have some folks here. There are more events for fans already on the schedule. Moto America's Superbike Series will be at IMS this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And the 2021 calendar starts with the month of May. The IndyCar Grand Prix on May 15th, the Indy 500 on May 30th. And then NASCAR's Brickyard Weekend comes in the middle of August. More opportunities, they're hoping to have more fans back at the Speedway. Brad Brown, WRTV Sports.